once again, and it is time for the DLD Motivational Moment. And by now, I guess you know who I am. I am your motivational guru, Donald L. Dowrich Jr. I just want to take a second just to welcome you in and say thank you for joining the Motivational Moment. Today we're going to talk about the greatest weakness. I'll say that again. The greatest weakness. And if you know about the word weak, ness, you know the harm that it can bring. Weak, ness. And it's funny because today I was talking to my niece about another niece who had this vision of her world and the world. Her world, the world. See, there's two worlds. There's our worlds that's inside of our mind, but then there's also the world that is outside of our zone. Now that world that's outside of our zone is tremendously different than the world that's inside of our brain, our mind, our heart, and our soul. And if you know how to discern, you know there's a different world out there and you have to be careful. If not, we will give in to the weakness. So let's talk about the greatest weakness. First of all, I want to say that in my life, there were instances that, yes, I wanted to throw in that white towel. Yes, I wanted to quit. Yes, I wanted to give up. And I can think about different intervals in my young life where I just said, you know, I quit. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. And now, how many of you have ever went deep? into the pinnacle and just said that, hey, I'm done. I'm quitting. I can't take it anymore. Well, you know, if you're human, I'm sure you have crossed that bridge before. You know, you get the jits, like I just said, about quitting. What it means to quit. Somebody told me a long time ago, they say, Don, don't quit. Because just as you begin to even quit, think about quitting, that's when a door opens up. So you have to continue to strive and drive and put that extra mile in. It also takes me back to, yeah, my days of when I played football. Huh, yeah, I remember it. Boy, that's a far cry from where football is today. But in speaking of that, listening to my coach, I can hear some of my coaches on a couple of teams that I played for all up in my face. Even when I used to box my coach, matter of fact, when I was in the military and I was boxing in the military, I had a coach who was probably about 5'5", five, five. and that dude, and he was from Tampa. We was in Germany, but he was from Tampa, and that dude, he drove me to the next mile. Even when I wanted to quit, coach was in my face, and he was like, Dyrich, you better not quit. Ain't no quitting here. And even when I felt like I wanted to quit, I was too scared to say I wanted to quit, so I just kept moving. But I'm glad that I was too, too scared to quit. And I guess like Mike Tyson said, you know, when he got in the ring, they said, Mike, how do you knock everybody out like that? He said, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm scared just like the next man is scared. It's going to be me or it's going to be him. So you all know the results. First round knockouts. And I'm talking about before. Mike went on a deep end. But the moral of the story is the greatest weakness. Don't give in. Don't quit. Let the tears flow before you quit. We've all probably said this one. This is a good one. Leave me alone because I know it won't work. I've tried it. I've tried it. I've tried it. You know, there's a lot of great people who have walked through this life who tried, who tried, who tried. And one who comes to mind is uh, Benjamin Franklin. He tried, he tried, he tried, he tried. He got burnt, he got shocked, he got electrocuted. But hey, Big Ben, shout outs to you, brother. Because of you and that electricity, I'm standing before these hot lights. Now just imagine if it wasn't for Big Ben getting electrocuted, as many times as he did, we'll all be, as it's dark outside, we'll be in the dark.
So right on to you, Big Ben. Shout outs to you, Big Bro. Wherever you may be, it's a shout out to you. Thanks for the what? Electricity. Oh, talking about electricity. <sighs> Tico, I'll leave it at that. All I'll say is the greatest weakness. <laughs> I don't care. How many of us have said that? Why even try? It ain't going to work. I'm not even going to try. I'm wasting my time. It's funny though. I'm wasting my time. It's not even going to work. But somebody else wound up doing it. And guess what? They become the millionaire because you decided that you didn't want to go forth. You decided that it was a little too hard. Well, guess what? As I put my book back up, the power of being a winner. The only way you're going to be a winner if you don't quit. Who am I fooling? That's another good one. Who am I fooling? I'm not fooling nobody. They, they can see through this. They know this is just a hype. But it's not a hype. It's reality. Just like the power of being a winner continues to fall. It's not hype. It's reality. We all go through something, but the moral of the story is how strong are you to pull through it? How strong are you to come through it? How willing are you to go through it? Because they always said you go through, but you don't have to live in what you go through. You can come out the other side, but you got to be what? Strong and not give in to the greatest weakness. I don't know if you recall back uh, maybe a few years ago, there was a hot video going around uh, on YouTube. As a matter of fact, it was on the evening news. And not only was it on the evening news, but it took off in society as, as a catchphrase. And everybody was saying it. As a matter of fact, here it is. Ain't nobody got no time for that. And I, st I can see the vision of the video. Ain't nobody got no time for that. I quit. I'm calling it a day, I'm throwing in the towel. Matter of fact, here's my white towel, and I'm throwing it in. Psych, not tonight it won't, because I'm putting that bad boy right back here where it was. Because there ain't no quitting, and don't you quit. But moving on, just imagine how many people have surrendered in this life. Just imagine. Now somebody sitting here right now, probably looking at this video, and... Who knows? They were just about to call it quits. But now they're looking at this video and they're like scratching their head or they're pondering. Or maybe, whatever they're about to quit, maybe, just maybe, who am I? Matter of fact, Jeffro Bodine and I, we, we graduated in the third grade and Uncle Jed, if you know who I'm talking about, he's still sitting on the front porch with the dog wondering where we at. But just maybe an inkling, that person is probably saying, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to try it again. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get back on that horse, that horse of life, and I'm going to try it again. So make time for that. And don't you be the one that surrenders, that throw in the towel. Because when you throw in the towel, it's you that wound up paying the ultimate price. And I don't know about anybody out there, but I will admit, I will admit I paid some prices for quitting. So the moral of the story is, if you don't want to pay that price, don't quit. But these people who surrendered, check this out. They did it because they were not focused on the advantages of not quitting. Wait a minute. The advantages of not quitting. The advantages of not quitting. I mentioned Benjamin Franklin. I guess I can mention um, Oprah Winfrey. I guess I can mention Frederick Douglass, who I imitate, portray. Uh, I guess I can mention Robert Johnson, who brought us BET. I guess I can go on and mention uh, I believe his first name is Robert Dale. Forgive me if I if I get his first name wrong, but Dale, Dale Computers. I guess I can mention Hewitt Packett. 
uh, who were two gentlemen. I guess I can mention uh, Mr. Mercedes Benz. You know, I, the list goes on and on and on. Of all these people who did not give in to the greatest weakness, they just kept tinkling and tinkling and tinkling, working and working and believing and giving their all. And eventually, throughout life, with their idea, even if they're gone on now, their family, their estate, they are benefiting from it. Yes, we are benefiting from it as well. We are benefiting from it because of the fact that, guess what, if you have a Dell computer, if you have a Hewitt Packet uh, printer, well, guess what, not only did you buy the printer, but when you run out of ink, you have to replace that ink, Hewitt Packet. So just think about it, the advantages of not throwing in that towel, the advantages of not giving in to the greatest weakness, the advantages. Focus, my friend, on the advantage of every task. When I talk to some of the kids at some of the schools that I circulate in, I talk to them about the importance of not giving up, of not quitting, of not saying, why me? Why is this happening to me? But I do focus on, and I want them to focus on, I want you to focus on, why not you? Why not you picking up the, the baton and ripping and running with it? Why not you with the idea that's toiling around in your mind, that molecule behind the skin, behind the skull, inside? Why not you inside of the skin, the muscle, that heart there? Why not you inside the skin, the 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 the, the the six pack, if you will, but that gut, that gut that tells you to strive and move forward. Don't give in to the greatest weakness. Muhammad Ali, he had the gall in 1963, 21, 22 year old youngster who said, I am the greatest after knocking out Sonny Liston. Nobody gave him a chance. Barack Obama, nobody gave him a chance. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Donald Trump, nobody gave him a chance. Look at yourself in the mirror and think about all the people who have not, who did not give you a chance. But look at you as you stand tall, looking at the beautiful, handsome you. Because of the fact that you did not, you will not, and I bet you won't. Give in to the greatest weakness because you are a champion. You are a shining star. You are somebody's hero. You are somebody's shero. You are of greatness. And you definitely have the power of being that winner within you. So please, don't get trapped. Don't get trapped. In that greatest weakness of giving up, of quitting. Because you are not a quitter. You are a W-I-N-N-E-R. You are, say it with me, a winner. Say it with me again, a winner. Say it one more time, a winner. Now feel it as you say it. Rolling through your body mind, a winner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been... Another episode of The Motivational Moment, and I am yours truly, Donald L. Dowrich Jr. You can pre-order my new book, which is arriving soon, Motivational Moments. You can also book me to be your speaker at your upcoming events, facilitator, M MC, at your upcoming event by calling 813 394-5875 and of course emailing DLD28202 at yahoo.com and I just want to take a moment and just to thank everybody 
who have tuned in to DLD over the years. And I want to thank a couple of companies who have who have seen these videos. So I want to give you a shout out for calling me in and uh, we'll be doing some things together. So I just want to thank you, all right? Because DLD will bring the motivation to you. So to check us out, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and of course, our website, www.dldenterprises.org. And before I leave, as I throw the papers away, just check us out on 99 Jams, um, the, the Bird. That's 99 Jams, the Bird, 99.1 FM, on Mondays and Thursdays, 8.59. All it takes is just one minute. All it takes is one minute. It's like when you move something. All it takes is one second to put it back. One minute, 60 seconds. Check us out. And in the meantime, until we come back at you, hey, I'm wishing you, I'm praying you, an awesome week and whatever you desire to conquer, you climb that mountain and you conquer it. I will check you out. Meantime, watch out for that greatest weakness.